Holmberg falls on it for Oakland. And then the number one draft pick, Napoleon Kaufman. No Napoleon syndrome here. Right up the middle, it's a touchdown, seven and seven. And what happens? After a Colts field goal, Napoleon Kaufman. No Napoleon complex here. Gets the hand out of the vest, and look at him go. He could go all the way. What a draft pick by the Raiders. 82 yards, Tom, and the Raiders in business, 7-3. to three. Yeah, and unless a return man gets a clean lane to the end zone, the key moment in any return is when do you make the decision to cut back. Right here, you see the wall of blockers by the Raiders. Kaufman has the speed and quickness to find the cutback. Ah! Oh, kicks it away, and it's going to go to Nat Kaufman. A very short one. He'll take it to the run. Gets behind the wedge in the 18. Coming over to the near side. Up the middle he goes. 25, 30, 35, 40. He's gone. He's his three. 40, 30 to the 20. The Raiders take the lead. Looking for Napoleon Kaufman. Takes the hands out of the vest. Makes the catch at the 10. Touchdown. 20 nothing Raiders at the half. What has happened to the Detroit Lions since halftime against the Falcons? Here's what's happened to Jeff Hot. Out of bounds at the 323 yard game. Two plays after that, after a penalty. What else? It's the Raiders. Napoleon Kaufman scampers in. Third and five for the Chiefs from the Chiefs 10. Napoleon Kaufman had 109 yards in last year's Monday night victory over the Chiefs. Had 84 yards in that touchdown in this night. Maybe, Jeff, we hope you lose. But. He had other ideas because he had Napoleon Kaufman. Look at him make the move, and he can't go all the way, 61 yards. Yeah, and look at the quickness and the strength. It's a combination of low center of gravity makes him. In the locker room after a game, even though he had a back injury, so that's good news. Bad news for the Falcons. Napoleon Kaufman outside, and four Falcons, none of them root. Napoleon Kaufman. These are two of his over 150 yards. We wanted to show you two that got him paid dirt. But how about the Raiders spotting the Rams? and the big play Raiders announced that they still have that capacity. But I want to tell you one thing that would happen with, with Napoleon Kaufman. As soon as he caught the ball, Phil, he was gone. He did not hesitate. He just ran straight up the field and just took off. Terrence Shaw was the only guy that really had a shot at him again, but he cut that off. But I'll tell you what, the move that he made, a little dump off to Kaufman, but he has an open field. And there's no speed of the defense to counter Napoleon's trip to the end zone. Well, it's a blitz by Rodney Harrison on the outside, but watch Kirk Kavea. He's the only guy I can see that should have Napoleon Kaufman. He comes out of it. He looks deep. Oh, nobody's covering the back out of the backfield. A quarterback's dream. Dump it off and watch somebody run for a long touchdown. But when you watch him again, you know, when he makes that commitment to go straight ahead, I mean, it, it was just... 21-17 Raiders. Fourth quarter, Napoleon Kaufman takes the hand out of the vest. Waterloo for the Broncos. Napoleon Kurt go all the way. 83 yards. 28-17. see two teams as emotionally charged as these two teams when we met with him yesterday. They're looking on this almost like a playoff game. Here's a breakaway run, Napoleon Kaufman. The race is out and he's going to win it. Into the end zone goes Napoleon Kaufman and the Raiders take the lead. But there is a penalty marker down. Well, take a look at the fullback, number 34, Derek Finner. He's going to block Chad Brown right there. Puts him right on his back. That's a key block for this run. Then there's some missed tackles, and Napoleon Kaufman does an excellent job of getting through that, that uh, Seahawk defense there for the long touchdown run. 55 yards he goes. Watch Chad Brown there, the all-pro 94, the linebacker. Great block by Finner. Good blocking there by everybody. Watch number 82. 
James Jett there, the receiver. A lot of times when, when backs break long runs for touchdowns is because the wide receivers get downfield, block secondary people, and that springs the, the running back for a, for a long gain. James Jett there, number 82, did an excellent job of blocking. Al Locasal told us yesterday, he says, hey, watch our wide receiver. Starting on first down here for Jeff George and company under the new head coach this season, John Gruden. Hoffman has a lot of room. <laughs> Kaufman at the 10 and he is what he makes now Keith Hamilton's going to get some penetration right in here watch Napoleon Kaufman make the cut back inside and right there look the safety thought he had an angle on the play and the safety took the bad angle Napoleon Kaufman you can't do that this guy is so explosive as Bill just told you yeah, they ran to the weak side of the formation. See, there's no tight end here. Watch Armstead. He can't get back inside. You see that plant there, Ronnie? He didn't have his footwork. You have to wonder about that ankle that he's been nursing all week. And that's a play that Jesse Armstead usually makes. Kaufman goes the distance, untouched, chased by Felipe Sparks. But once he made that burst into the secondary, he just exploded past everybody. Very first play as the offense thundered into action. A handoff to Kaufman up the middle, 25, 30, 35, 40. Midfield, he may go. He's gone, 80 yards. Touchdown on the very first play from scrimmage. Napoleon Kaufman rushed for 139 yards against the... ...up at Skins, touchdown. So he momentarily saved the day. Napoleon Kaufman takes his hand out of the vest. 23 yards. Tied at 7 all. Compton, 121 yards in the first half. Average leader Napoleon Kaufman exploded. He is gone. The Raiders are blowing out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Pitch to Kaufman led by Kennedy. And he breaks one tackle of a hot two. Comes back left. He may go the whole distance. Pouring out to block. Kaufman's going to go the whole way. Touchdown. Raiders. A 75 yard cutback run. By Napoleon Kaufman. The Raiders. The 18 pounds, 20 pounds. Yeah, but you on the Raiders. A 22 yard burst for Kaufman, and the Kansas City defense was completely faked out. And they were. Here's a look at it, the end zone. Watch the left guard pull around. That's big Steve Wisniewski in there, and it's a counter pitch. And Steve Wisniewski's out front. He chips all the way around, gets a push at the end of the play on Reggie Tung. They caught the deep with 21 unanswered points. And Kaufman. On a perfectly executed shovel pass, blocks by 64 Dinopoli, 73 Darrell Ashmore, and 76 Steve Wisniewski freed Napoleon Kaufman to find the end zone as Oakland scored 21 unanswered points to move ahead. Catch on this drive. Even a defensive back helping out the offense. Spreading the wealth. Teams have been able to score on Kansas City so far in the first quarter this season. On second and goal. Middle dump off. Kaufman cuts it inside for the touchdown. Napoleon Kaufman. Gets Oakland on the board first. Now you talk about a smart play for John Gruden to call. He knows Kansas City's going to rush. Watch the offensive line right here. These guys are going to get out and block. It's a quick little underneath screen. Gannon drops back, looks down the field, looks off the defensive linebacker, turn and dump it off. The big guys out in front was Newski Robbins getting blocks down the field to play. Five and the Raiders make a statement here in the first, taking up seven minutes and five seconds off the clock and a seven to nothing advance. City opening with a masterful 80-yard drive. He's got Kaufman blocked from Wisniewski. Touchdown, Napoleon Kaufman going into the end. 